In this video, we'll talk about verbs and their complements. Many verbs can have or sometimes even require what we call complements. These kind of complete the meaning. So if you say, I watch, it doesn't make much sense without an ending to it, right? What do you watch? I watch TV. In Russian and in English, we have different ways of making complements. Here we have TV being the direct object of watch. I watch TV. And it's the same in Russian. Ya smatru televizor. And televizor in Russian is in the accusative case because that's what direct objects are in. Oftentimes in Russian and English, the complements are made in a similar way, like in this sentence. Here's another similar one. I'm reading a book. Again, a direct object. However, sometimes Russian and English differ in how they treat certain verbs and their complements. So, for example, with the verb to listen. In English, we say I listen to the radio with a preposition. In Russian, with the verb slushit, there's no preposition. radio, And it's a direct object. Or sometimes we have the opposite. In English, it's a direct object, like I ride a bike, whereas in Russian, it needs a preposition. Ya katayus na velocipedia. Here's another example where in English, it's a direct object, and in Russian, it requires a preposition. I play soccer. Ya igrayu football. Read the English and Russian sentences and decide whether the complements are made similarly or differently. I am writing an essay. Ya pishu essay. Here we have two direct objects. I'm writing an essay. Essay is the direct object. Essay in Russian is also the direct object. In Russian, it's in the accusative case. How about this one? In English, we say, I play violin. In Russian, ya igrayu na skripke. English and Russian are different here. In English, it's a direct object. In Russian, we need the preposition na. Try this one. I'm eating soup. Ya yam soup. Here, English and Russian are similar, both direct objects. Notice that sometimes verbs can have more than one verb complement. In these sentences, we have two. I sent a letter to my grandfather. Ya poslale pismo dedushke. Here in English we have the direct object letter, and in Russian the direct object is pismo. In English then we use a preposition to my grandfather, whereas in Russian we say dedushke, with no preposition. Dedushka here is in the dative case, and this is something we will be learning more about very soon. So in summary. Verb complements in both English and Russian can be made in several ways. Sometimes they have a direct object, which in Russian is the accusative case. Sometimes they need a preposition. And sometimes they are what we call the indirect object. And in Russian, that's in the dative case. We will learn more about that in the future.